Welcome to our midweek Lenten worship services. Our theme for this year is You Shall Love the Lord Your God With All Your Heart. And given the difficulties that we have had this year, we decided that it might be nice for everyone to see other people rather than having Vicar Ricardo and myself offer messages in the liturgy as you have been so used to over the last many months. So we have invited and asked different individuals to read different parts of our liturgy and our scriptures, as well as offering their thoughts on those on our theme and the scriptures. So that is what you will see each week when you come for worship on our Wednesday nights. Lenten blessings to you as we worship. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all God's benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And give thanks that God redeems you from the grave. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And remember God's steadfast love and mercy. Hello. The lesson for today is from Exodus 20, chapters 1 through 17. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, your son or daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock, 
or the alien residents in your towns. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or male or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Here ends the reading. Hi, the Booz family here. We are at Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. And we're here to talk about the verse, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. And when I hear that verse, I immediately think, yeah, I love God, but do I really love God with all my soul? My actions don't always say that I do. One of my favorite authors, Bob Goff, in his book entitled Living Grace, Walk in Love, writes how much we love God can be measured by how much we love people. Je Jesus demonstrated love to people many would consider the fringe of society. Every day, I am given an opportunity to show love to others, and not just people like me, or the ones that are convenient. Some days I do better than others. I do know God loves me with all of his soul, no matter what, and that love is called grace. Hi. So happy to be here in South Dakota and reaching out to my family in Christ at Christ the King. We have behind us something that is absolutely magnificent, carved in stone. Hold it right there. The beautiful figures of four of great leaders in our country. We also had something carved in stone in our Christian heritage. Moses went up the mountain and he retrieved 10 commandments the guidelines, the commandments that we should follow to get us nearer to God. It's interesting that the scribe challenges Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And quoting scripture, but also quoting the Shema, Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and strength. He cuts that into four different pieces, just like we have four different faces of our government and our great people that guided this country. And it's the soul, the soul that is most important that we talk about because all those other flow from the personal relationship that we have with God. Uncle Martin, Martin Luther says that we cannot come to the Lord by our own strength and by our own knowledge. It's through the power of the Holy Spirit. And by that power, we meet Jesus and come to God. So even though our soul strives for God, it's through that power and through Jesus' sacrifice. The, the Ten Commandments are rules. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments because Moses was to share them with others. I am able to share my faith with other people who are Christian. to God and what that means to me is trying to bring the cross with you every day try to walk yeah. in the footholds of Jesus hi I'm Don Young an associate member at Christ the King and also a member at Christ Lutheran Church in Seguin when I think about the phrase love the Lord with all your soul I can't help but think about my mom she would recite this verse a lot. I do mean a lot. Actually, she spouted uh, both verses from Mark 12, 30 and 31. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. When I hear the word soul, things get a little fuzzy for me. We are to love with all of our soul, but what is our soul? Mom would also say that we are each responsible for our own soul's salvation. 
We need to take care of our soul, nourish it, so that we can share God's love with others, just as my mom did and just as I try to do. So her, perhaps it's that part of my mom that's still with me, echoing in my head every now and again, and, and that's part of her soul, and now it's part of mine. Love the Lord with all your soul and, and the souls of all the saints that have gone before us. When we love the Lord, we love ourselves, and in turn, we love those around us. The, there are no greater commandments than these. Amen. Last week, the theme was love the Lord our God with all our heart. This week, the theme is love the Lord our God with all our soul. We learn from 1 John chapter 4 that we love because God loved us first. God sent his son to be the sacrifice by which our sins are forgiven. Since God loved us this much, we must love each other. Growing up, my mother would often quote Matthew 16, 26. How do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? To understand how to love with all our soul, perhaps we should first reflect on what is our soul. The Greek word for soul, spelled P-S-U-C-H-E, translates as breath of life, physical life. It includes our ambitions, emotions, will, desires. In today's terminology, it would often be called our personality. To love God with all of our soul, to love with every element of our personality, we must fulfill our covenant with God. The basic covenant is set forth in the Ten Commandments, Exodus chapter 20. The commandments state very specific actions that we are to do or not do in relationship with God and with each other. And we all know that human attention span is, is rather short. And apparently this affliction has been with us at least since the early biblical times. Because if Ten Commandments are too much to remember, then tell us, what are the two greatest commandments? Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 31, pretty much lays it on the line. Number one, you have one God. You must love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Number two, love others as much as you love yourself. Mark answers the question, how to love God with all of our soul? The answer, every day, with our every thought, word, and deed, we must be, each of those, an act of love. We must reach up to God in love. We must reach out in love to our neighbors, near and far. Amen. Amen.
Please join me in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord, the God in heaven above and on the earth beneath. O Lord, our God, show us your everlasting love, that we may serve you from the obedience of our hearts. Lead us in the way of your peace, that our souls may be restored. Fill our imaginations with the wonders of your creation, that our minds may reflect your glory. Guide us in the way of the cross, that we might proclaim the strength of your love. O Lord, there is no God like you, in heaven or on earth, keeping covenant in steadfast love with your servants who walk before you with all their heart. Hear us, O God as we join together and offer the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Keep those words in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Buy them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorpost of your house. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. i 
Well.